Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the mirror reflections, create any of the mirror props in Unreal Engine 5. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I will open my Unreal Engine 5 editor and I will start from a fresh new game project. Okay, now this is the Unreal Editor, and I'm going to create a new game, a new game project here. Just start from the third person as a demo. The project name I will just put it as Miro Demo 02. I click Create. Now a fresh new project already started. It is loading, we have to wait until it finish. Now this is a fresh new project, if I try to play. Now, this is just the SKM Queen simple, the UE5 Mana Queen, press escape. And first of all, you should be able to see that you have the content browser, but maybe you don't have the place actor. So at the beginning, you may just need to go to go to window to call out the place actor like this. And then the first step what we are going to do is go to the project setting under the rendering. Right. The project setting is at here, you have to click edit project setting and you have to drag it down until you see the rendering at here okay under the rendering you have to set some of the setting at there the first one is the dynamic global illumination method you have to change it to become the screen space beta so this is under the global illuminations. So set it first. Drag it down until you see the global illuminations. Screen space beta. And the next one, the reflection method to change it to lumens. And here you have to take it, support global clip planes. Right, this one have to take it. Make sure the reflection method is lumens. And you can see restart required to apply new setting. You have to click restart now. Then click OK. It is restarting the whole project. And you may need to just wait for a few seconds until it finish apply. Now, once done already, we go to the next step. The next step, it is still at the project setting and you search for motions. And the motion blur, you have to make sure you untick it. So at here, under the project setting, you search for motion. The motion blur, you untick it to make sure it is false. Right, next you can close the project setting. The next step, you are going to create a new material. To create a new material, you have to back to your content here. And right click to create a new folder, name this new folder as mirror. Double click in to the new folder, right click to create a new material. Name this material as mirror. Maybe mirror 01. And then double click to open. Now, you can see here, you have the base color, metallic, specular, roughness. You have to do some setting here and just follow all this. Before that, the details of, of the material, you have to make sure you set all of this, the high quality reflections and planar reflections. 
So here, just to find it out, the material setting. Under the detail, forward shading. Here, the planar reflections and also high quality reflections. You have to take both of this. And then, the next step, just follow this type of the configuration. You have, this is a vector. These three also vectors, how to create this. One, 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 it's, it is really simple. Right click, then, after you right click, you have to find for constants, to create a constant tree vector, like this. And then, you double click at the center here, just to set the RGB to become 1, then click OK. Then, the next two you have to 110, this is just a single constant, just right click to create a single constant, and then click on that, the value you change it to become 1, enter. The 1, the 111, you drag it to base color, and number one, you drag it to the metallic and also the specular. The roughness, you have to make sure it is zero. Just right click to create a new constant. To make sure it is zero, drag it to roughness. Now it already turned to become a mirror. Once done already, you save this. Then wait for a while. It teach compiling the shader that you can close this. This is a new material. And then, if you want to create a mirror inside your scene, first you may just search the plane actor at here. Search for cube. Right. Once you have a cube already, you drag it. And for example, if you want to create a mirror at here, right. I may just press press R to make it bigger. And then. To make it become like a plane. So here is 0 0.25. I may just want to make it small so that I can just just make it to become a mirror. Alright, now I make this as a mirror like this. And then next you have to drop drop the mirror zero one material to here. Just drag and drop to make it like this. If you play, you can see actually it is a mirror, but you cannot reflect yourself inside the game project here. So you have to do one more step. One more step you have to search at here. Reflection. Then you should be able to see a planar reflection. Just drag the planar reflection to the scene. Now you can see this is a planar reflection. Make it smaller. Just press R to make it smaller. Like this. And then make sure you rotate it about 90 degree like this. And then you have to do some setting to make sure it is the same size as your mirror. Your mirror is at here. You have to make sure the size is approximate to, to the mirror that you want to create. So for this planner, a mirror planner, just make it smaller. Like this. And then do some setting at here, the planner reflections. So here, this one, the first one, you put 0. Second one, also put 0. The third one, just have some of the reference like mine. The first three, you all put 0. The fourth one, you put 200. Like this, this one. You can see 0, 0, 0, 200. And then you scroll down under the advanced. 
the screen percentage you put 100 now you may just want to move it again where is the planner reflection if this is here to make some reference you may just put a put a box at here first put another cube as a reference right, drag the cube into here and then use this cube as a reference to just double check your mirror once done already now you may just try to test play you can see your mirror is already here and then you can see yourself inside the mirror and this is really a mirror in Unreal Engine 5 and it is ex exactly exactly the, the cube that's created right there so at another side maybe you want to to just just duplicate the planner this one you may just control C and control V to copy now you have to and then you may want it to become a double sided mirror what you need to do is just rotate it 90 rotate it 180 degree and for this time you put it at behind Alright, now you can just try to play again. It already become a double-sided mirror. Now here, this is a mirror at here. Another side, it is also a mirror. It is a double-sided mirror that already created in Unreal Engine 5 game project. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create a mirror reflection in Unreal Engine 5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!